Um, and he's, he's so proud. I feel that he was very patriotic to his country and a great love of the country. I gotta say, he's a bit naughty here because he says, he would British should be British all the way through. Yes. Um, and he was very patriotic yes, was. in how he would have been in that way, I've got to yes. say. Very straight talking gentleman yes. I have here. Um, and somebody who would not mince his words or, or have time. He says, I didn't have time for that. Life was too short and too busy for him. He says, before I was uh, in, the, in the army, again, I want to, he shows me a lot of farmland around him um, where he would have had those fields, lots of fields. Um, and he would have worked within this environment also uh, when he was much younger. He says, also, uh, when I was in the army, after I left that, he said, then I went into very manual work. Yes. He shows me a lot of machinery here, yes. a lot of machinery, where he would have helped repair and put things back yes. together. And again, he, so again, I've got that real manual thing. He shows me his hands. They were working hands all his life. Yes. Um, and I've got to say, he would have had the calluses here across his hands through the hard work he did. But he was never, ever afraid of the hard work or what he went through. He's telling me here also, he did suffer also with his chest. I feel he had bronchial and pneumonia problems. You understand that? And it also this contributed again towards that time of the passing. It wasn't what took him over, it was part of. There was many different things in the end. I do feel also he would have had a cancer condition um, that would have helped take him over because he's making me feel that flow through the body here. He shows me he's suffered also with the tummy area. Would you understand that? Because he's taking me down to the tummy area and lower proportions of the male body, I want to say. Um, and lots of things is what he's referring to. Again, I want to go with a gentleman who was happy throughout life. He wants to laugh here. And he says, I was very fortunate to have the family I had. Yeah very loved and very protected within that family. He also takes me to a time where his family certainly came very much around him when he was, uh, when I want to say, extremely ill and gave him the support, is what he says. You were very much a joy to him, I've got to say. And again, it was the popping in and out that you did yes. that would brighten his week, is what he's saying. Because even though we had what I want to say, help from others, yes. outside of the family, it was the family that kept everything there for him and held it all together. Yes. So he comes in to say, thank you for that love and that support that I received in my lifetime. And again, he says, you know, if you could just spread that love outwards to my family, the rest of my family, to thank them as well. Because he says, nothing's forgotten. Um, you would understand also that some of the memories here that he is going on about, he's saying there has been pictures also recently brought forward of me, um, where people have been looking through photographs and bringing open the memories. And he's saying these are stored in a box. You would understand that. Okay, thank you. Um, and again, like I said, so he's very, very pleased there that nothing of him has failed. Um, he's actually standing this side of me. He's talking, he's actually, uh, I, I feel he would have had a problem with this hearing here. Yes. Um, and he's, because he's poking my ear then. It was almost like someone tugging my hair. And he's saying, I've got a problem with my hearing. But he said, I had selective hearing. Yes. So when he wanted to hear, he would. At other times, he wouldn't, okay? And it depended who was talking to him. And you would understand also, this gentleman, your uh, uh, bill, I want to say, he would have loved, he loved apple pie and custard yes. by the tongues, I got to yes. say. And it's almost like in the end, that's all he wanted to eat. That's the only thing he really wanted to eat in the end, he says. Nothing else seemed to satisfy him. Um, but it was a favourite of his as well. As he's talking about his home, where he lived, how he, you know, what he had around him as well. He shows me what I want to say is quite a cosy little home yes. here. And I do want to go with an upstairs because he's taking me to the upstairs. Um, he's saying but it got difficult to go up the stairs in the end, so he, it, most of it was downstairs um, because he, there was a struggle with m movement yes. within the physical yes. body. And again, he shows me that home and he says, so 
I got confined towards the latter part of my life, towards my winter years there. But in the main with him, I've got to say, he was a lovely, happy, carefree man throughout life. And I'm very honoured and privileged to be within the family he had. He shows me also there was many, many times as a child that you and he would go off on very long walks together um, and share time together is what he says. And these are part of the memories and things that he's taken with him to the spirit side. And he says, so you hold on to yours. And as he's talking about that, uh, not just about memories, but things that you would have spoken about, shared and dreams is what he said. And he wants you to hold on to things there. Because I feel you, he, the way he's making me feel, you're letting those uh, feelings slip away through life itself. You know, not through any particular reason. And he has walked beside you on many of the occasions where you've been very deep in thought. Um, wondering in which direction to walk. He's looking upon your shirt that you're wearing or your top and he's saying he wasn't too sure whether to change that or not. He'll understand that because he's been very much with you. Checking things out is what he says. Oh, don't worry, he says, I don't look at the physical. It's only a bright light. Okay, so again, okay. he's just having a laugh there. But again, he was somebody with a sense of humour and he loved to play jokes with family all the time. He said, if I couldn't have a joke with somebody, I was bored. Okay, so he did like that. Um, and he cracked a lot of jokes as well. So he would have said, you know, he'd have, he'd have found a joke from somewhere and he says, very often I laughed at my own and everyone would go, mm. okay. But again, like I said, that's who he was. That was part of his um, nature, I want to say there. I've got to say, as he's coming in and he's bringing that love to you, he's just saying to you, you know, keep going the way you're going. Uh, because again, you know, personal things that have come around you that you're having to go through, he says, but you know, just just follow that path for now. Keep hold of those dreams and keep focused. And again, he says, don't listen to others. Listen to what you already know because it's really important that you follow that. Uh, because I do feel sometimes you're being pulled sidetracked off things. And he says, he understands that because this is also part of his his life where he was sidetracked for a short time in life and he takes me way back to his 20s and 30s uh, where he says it was a little bit difficult I listened to the wrong advice and nearly went down the completely wrong road if you don't understand what he says please check that out uh, because I do feel that is also within the family information uh, but again I do feel I'm a little bit on a personal level there so um, again, I want to just say thank you for sharing with us that love of your grandfather, I'm going to say. And um, just know again that he walks beside you. Thank you, thank you and God thank bless. You very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I do feel uh, that um, we're almost done with the painting. Um, so I'm not going to make another link with, the, with anyone until the painting's done. Um, because I do know that we also uh, have a very short period of time. So let's see. I do feel as I'm um, looking at the picture here that I've got a very strong link with a father again and a grandfather. I don't feel this is a spirit guide or anything like that um, and again I do hope that somebody here will acknowledge this lovely gentleman um, I feel it's somebody again who had great strength in his life uh, I do feel I don't know why but I feel he's got a son who may be here um, if not then he will certainly have somebody who's here connected to a son um, and like I said, I can't see too much, so I can't can't see all of it at the moment. But Patrick did say if he carried on too much, I'm allowed to rip it from his hands. Ha. Then I'd get beaten. <laughs> um. This here is the picture of the gentleman um, in question. Um, and I do feel... 
it's a, it's a very odd feeling when I work with Patrick in the painting because the painting pulls me. I allow the energy of the painting to take me where it needs to go. Um, and I do feel that I want to come more central with the painting. Um, so for anybody who can understand or feel this gentleman or recognise, can you understand him over there? No? Can anyone? Okay, let me see. I still feel like I want to come back over to this area over here. Um, and I'm trying to hold him as still as I can so you can see him. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Um, and again, as I'm feeling the energy of this wonderful gentleman, um, again, he, I, I feel with him that there is a son he's wishing to connect to, or a grandson. I feel though that they're not here, uh, but somebody connected to them. I'm here. I want to hear Paul as well. A oh, Paul. Um, I, I say I feel I am over here. Would you understand that, my loves? Because I do want to, it's like the painting takes me, I don't take the painting. And I feel this is the connection here, you would understand that. Would you? And you would understand the way, the look of the picture at the moment. Okay, uh, but you know, I'm definitely hearing Paul with this. He was his, um, like his son. Right, okay. Um, and you would understand that Paul's not here, yeah. but you're okay, lovely. Um, and because I do feel this picture belongs to you and your family. Um, and again, uh, what I feel with this is I'm holding this picture. Like I said, the picture always pulls me. I don't let, it guides me to where it needs to go. Um, and I would say with this lovely gentleman that um, before um, he left the earth, I've got to say, he took on the responsibility very seriously as a father and as a husband. And for him, it made his life complete. Um, it wasn't something he did very lightly. Um, and I do feel that the wealth of love that he left behind is almost like a legacy. You understand that? Yeah. I do feel also uh, that there is still a lot of uh, sadness um, connected to this man's passing. He shows me also it wasn't very long ago. Um, and I'm not sure. He's talking about the length of time here. Um, and I'm feeling with that length of time, I don't want to go any more than about two years with the passing or, or the feeling. Would you understand that? If I'm out, then that's my thing, not, not his. But again, like I said, um, it's the love that I'm feeling here from this gentleman. You would understand also, as I'm talking about Paul, that Paul has been going through, what I'm going to say, a few ups and downs here. And then again, I want to say on a very personal level, um, where things have become quite difficult. You understand yeah. that? And he's finding it quite a struggle. And this lovely gentleman, his father, I'm going to say, because he doesn't want to be called stepdad, yeah. he wants to say dad, okay, is very much with him at this moment and time. And he says, the only way I could prove myself was for Paul to see me. So this is why he connected with Patrick and brought the love and the energy. He says, because Paul would have laughed his head off thinking that I'm on the other side chatting. And he says, but I've had to prove it through picture. You understand? My brother can't understand why he never comes to him, why at all? Yeah, well he has. Really absolutely yeah, him. well he's come through in picture form, okay my darling? This is your picture to take home. Thank you so much. Um, and what I would like to do now is to say thank you to Patrick, to his wonderful inspirers, as he was. And I would just like to say thank you to all of you for your wonderful love and energy. I'd like to say just enjoy your evening and just have lots of fun the weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.